After Three Mile Island, Chernobyl, and the Fukushima disaster in Japan, nuclear plants came under public attack. But perhaps the public was a little too hasty. Hey there, Atomic Advocates. Trace here for D News. NASA released a study this week in the Journal of Environmental Science and Technology stating unequivocally that nuclear power has saved lives. The study was authored by director of NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center and climate scientist James Hansen and another climate scientist Pushkar A. Karecha, dudes who probably know what they're talking about. The two men were disappointed that there were no studies showing the benefits of nuclear power on a population's health, so they researched the impact of non-nuclear options like coal, oil, or other fossil fuels, and the results indicate that there are 1.8 million people alive today because of the use of nuclear power. The reasoning being the amount of greenhouse gas and air pollution that was not being created. They started with a 2007 study comparing the output of fossil fuel burning power plants to the average number of deaths per unit of energy generated with those fossil fuels. The study ran the gamut of the industry, not just the coal power plants, but also chronic bronchitis among coal miners and air pollution related conditions among the public after that power was created. The study concludes that from 1971 to 2009, because of fossil fuels, 64 gigatons of greenhouse gas emissions have occurred, along with 1.84 million air pollution-related deaths. During that same time, nuclear power generation caused about 5,000 deaths, mainly cancer from fallout and workers' accidents. Do you think that's low? Let's triple it. 15,000 people. Seems a lot, right? Well, according to CDC scientists who published in the Journal of the American Medical Association, 36,000 people, on average, died every year from the flu. Just the seasonal flu during the 1990s. Every year. Nuclear material is difficult to store and recycle, but if we put effort into it, perhaps we can find solutions that are more environmentally conscious. Forecasting their model into the future, these NASA scientists determined that if we were to switch to nuclear energy, we could save as many as 7 million lives by 2050, not to mention the 80 to 240 gigatons of CO2-like greenhouse gases that wouldn't be spewed into the atmosphere. Nuclear power usually does get a bad rap because the number of deaths are concentrated to one visible event and aren't spread from a mine or a well through shipping, processing, power generation, and a variety of other things. Opposition to nuclear is strong too, thanks to decades of television and movies and pamphlets and fears of nuclear wars and meltdowns and other fallout. But are these fears actually warranted? What do you think? Could nuclear really be a better solution? Are you on board with this study? Tell us on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, or right here in the comments. And thanks a lot for stopping by DNews today. Subscribe so you can get both of our episodes seven days a week. I'm Trace. Catch you on the flip side.